Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to start out with a quick little story. So, I was cleaning out my garage and I stumbled upon a box of computer related items and I found this. This is the Targus Space Saving Lap Chill Mat. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much a laptop cooler. You put your laptop on the mat, there's fans, there's vents, and it supposedly should keep your laptop cooler. The fans are actually powered by this little USB right here. You simply plug it into the laptop and the fans turn on and it should keep your laptop cooler. As many of you know, I purchased my first gaming laptop a few months ago and I've been using it as my primary machine. At one point I was looking at laptop cool pads, however I decided against them as my temperatures were nothing out of the ordinary and I didn't really think they were needed. But if you're struggling with a laptop that overheats or just gets really hot in general, this might be a good product for you. But are laptop coolers even worth it? I mean, how much of a difference does this thing actually make? I decided I had to find out. So the first thing I wanted to test was how effective the cooling pad was at cooling my laptop on idle. Because my Asus FX502VM gaming laptop has both a CPU and a GPU, as well as ventilation on the bottom, I figured this would be the best laptop to test to see if a laptop cooler made any difference whatsoever. Without the cooling pad, I monitored the temperatures of the laptop and found that the GPU sat at a comfortable 39 to 42 degrees Celsius, while the CPU hovered from 40 to 46 degrees. These were pretty good temps and I figured it would be difficult to get much lower temps from this laptop, but I hooked up the laptop cooler and monitored the temperatures once again. The results were quite interesting. The GPU saw a temperature decrease of about 2-3 to three degrees, while the CPU's minimum temperature dropped 1 degree, but did have a random spike up to 55 degrees. We'll call that one inconclusive, but it seems possible that our laptop cooler is in fact working. The next test involved watching YouTube videos on the laptop. Once again, I monitored the temperatures of both the GPU and the CPU and found that the GPU was anywhere from 41 to 49 degrees Celsius, while the CPU bounced around from 42 to 65 degrees Celsius. After firing up the cooling pad, the GPU minimum temperature dropped 3 degrees, the same as the last time. However, the maximum temperature was 5 degrees lower. Not bad at all, I must say. But here's where things get interesting. The CPU dropped around 2 degrees from the minimum, but saw a jaw dropping 10 degrees less on the maximum. But keep in mind, these are just short little spikes in the CPU. I mean, last time this was 10 degrees higher. However, the minimum and average temperatures for the CPU as well as GPU have definitely dropped a few degrees. The final test was with gaming. The game I chose was Rocket League, and for consistency I capped the FPS at 65 and booted up the game. The GPU was pretty stable, staying at 67 to 70 degrees, while the CPU bounced around from 71 to 81 degrees. Let's try to cool this thing down. Using the cooling pad, the GPU cooled down 4 degrees on the minimum and maximum temperatures, while the CPU was cooled about 2 to 3 degrees overall. So, to answer the question, do cooling pads work? In my case, yeah, the Targus Chill Mat did manage to keep my laptop a few degrees cooler. But is it really worth it? For me personally, no, not at all. Considering my temperatures are relatively safe, I don't think I'll be using a cooling pad regularly anytime soon. I find them cumbersome and uncomfortable for the small amount of cooling they provide. I'm not sure exactly what Targus is getting at when they claim that this is a space saving chill mat because it sure doesn't feel like I'm saving space when using it. But this doesn't apply for everyone. If you have a laptop that shuts off due to heat or just has dangerously high temps, you know when it's hot enough to cook breakfast on your keyboard, a laptop cooler might be worth checking out. Mine in particular is a little on the spendier side, but there are tons of options available with two, three, or even five fans. Just to clarify my position one last time, do laptop coolers work? Yes. My specific laptop and cooler manage to keep my components two to five degrees cooler. If your laptop gets hot, having a cooler on your desk will definitely help. 
but maybe not as much as you might have thought. Again, this is just one test on one laptop and one cooler. If you need to cool your laptop, this will definitely help. However, if your laptop manages its heat pretty well, your money might be better spent elsewhere. I'll have links to my specific cooler and other promising looking ones down below. Hopefully this video helped you out, if so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section down below what results you've gotten with a cooling pad and which ones work best for you. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.